homelessness crisis in Sacramento. A ballot measure that could force the city of Sacramento to create homeless shelter space and begin enforcing camping bans could be at risk of being removed from the November ballot. That's according to members of the coalition backing the initiative. And ABC 10's Giacomo Luca has been following this initiative since it was first proposed in January. Now at the 11th hour, the city, the city is looking to break its promise to our coalition and our community. And that, frankly, is unacceptable. Daniel Conway chairs the coalition that worked with City Hall to draft the measure known as the Emergency Temporary Shelter and Enforcement Act. As written for the November ballot, if approved, would require the city of Sacramento to identify and establish within 60 days enough emergency shelter space equal to 60 percent of the homeless in the city and would make illegal any homeless camps with four or more unrelated people. It would also create a complaint an abatement process for residents or businesses harmed or damaged by encampments on city-owned property. The people of Sacramento have an expectation that they will have a voice this November, and yet now we see the city is trying to take away the voice of the people of Sacramento. Now, the group backed by Sacramento business, labor, public safety, and community groups say city officials are considering repealing and replacing the proposed initiative with one contingent on county actions, which they say could take years and effectively gutting its intent of swift action. Housing, housing. No city council representatives or anyone from Mayor Steinberg's office returned our requests for comment Thursday, but the proposal has vocal opponents out in full force Thursday who condemn so-called homeless sweeps and demand housing. Forcing, it's uh, coercive. Uh, it is not, you know, people, it's not, there's nothing voluntary about it.